Think about your hobbies. That's me, Ms. Venable, and this is my list. When given the opportunity, I love to cook and bake. And with a new book, I'll probably stay up all night reading it. My passport is filled with countries because I love international travel. But gutting a fish? I've seen illustrations of it, and I think I've seen someone else do it, but I never have. And cooking over a campfire? Oh, I've done that. I'm pretty good at it. But I can't tell you the last time I started a fire without a match. Huh. Lord of the Flies by William Golding is a story about humanity and what humans are really like. On the surface, a group of British schoolboys crash land on a deserted island after a nuclear attack makes them abandon home. They slowly develop ways to survive, but the island separates into two warring factions, a civilization that believes in order and cooperation, and another that loves power and war. The book wins William Golding a Nobel Prize for Literature. Why? Because he believed that humanity was, at its core, not good. It wanted savagery. It loved war. Golding himself said that he used to be an optimist before he had to fight in World War II. From there, all bets are off. In our reviews, I'll be looking at three characters, Ralph, Piggy, and Jack, the two protagonists and the antagonist. If you're one of those crazy people who believes that English teachers make up things about symbols, well, then it's time to put those beliefs aside and start looking at these characters. We have two characters here that I'm going to introduce, starting with Ralph. Ralph is our leader. The book says he's blonde, gangly, really enjoying life on the island. Ralph symbolizes humans. Piggy, on the other hand, is science and knowledge. He has glasses and he acts like an adult when other people don't. In fact, when Ralph and he find the conch, he's the one that tells Ralph how to use the device. Here's how we're going to gather people together. He may be the leader, but Piggy's our lieutenant. He is an everything reason. Ralph is sometimes going to ignore him and get himself into trouble. And then we've got our friend Jack Meridew. Jack symbolizes everything that is evil. He wants blood. He wants pig blood. Really, Jack isn't evil. He's the place inside of us that wants to bully people. He's the spot inside of all humans that wants power. He only sees value in people who have ability to change things. So the little ends, the ones who can't do anything, other than his hunting party, have no value to him. But it is good to know there are three other characters we're going to talk about. The set of twins, Sam and Eric, who become Sam and Eric, one person, which is kind of frightening, and then Simon. Okay, so out of these three characters, they're going to have influence over Ralph at one point or another. They're going to switch allegiance. Um, you're going to see some things that happen to them that drive the plot. But know that each of them are also assembled together. We'll come into them later, though. We talked about how our hobbies may or may not be any of use in surviving on an island. But this book isn't about survival. This book is about humanity and what we're really like when allowed to be free and go with what we really want. Golding suggests that what we really want is savagery versus civilization. And so what you have here is that coming to a head. As you read, be looking for those things. If you have questions about your reading, please contact me. I've read the book a number of times and I look forward to talking to you about it.